the revolution it delivered a political and social change. Um, but at the end it didn't really deliver real equality and real democracy as, uh, as we would like to define democracy today. I think that it is pretty much what I said in the last question, that the intentions of the revolution were to give people the power to have all people equal and have a democratic society. At the end, uh, the result was a change, was a political change, was a real change, but it didn't really deliver equality amongst the citizens and the people. I would say, I would quote Rosa Luxemburg here, who said that without socialism there is no democracy, and without democracy there is no socialism. Well, we still have lots to achieve in, in terms of equality. We still have women all over the Europe earning less than men do. We, we don't have equal rights for minorities, so there is still a lot to achieve in terms of equality. So the left of today is a democratic left, and a revolution today means a fundamentally different society. A completely different distribution of wealth in society and different kind of production systems systems that are both good for the people and for the environment. Uh, a, soci a society that is based on equality in terms of wealth, in terms of rights and in terms of uh, social protection. In terms of gender balance and in terms of rights of minorities. Left needs to find answers for the change of production methods due, due to the... Um, now I'm missing it again. The, the whole change in how things are being product, produced now. There are more robots, there is artificial intelligence, which inevitably means less jobs. So, for example, one alternative that left could um, forward is a basic income for all people. In Europe there is a rise, a rise of right-wing nationalism, if this is what you mean yeah. by the question. And actually the right wing, they don't have any answers to questions. They don't have any solutions to problems. What they want to do is to create threats and scapegoats. They want to blame immigrants for the problems that the society has. For example, in the northern countries, we have the rise of extreme right. The right-wing populist parties want to blame immigrants for all the problems that we have in our society. In reality, we have very few immigrants in the Nordic countries and it, the problems are not due to them. The problems are due to our go current governments, how they dismantle our welfare system and how they, by austerity measures, make the everyday life of normal people intolerable. So, so the, the role of left here is to fight against this instrumentalization of uh, people coming from elsewhere. It is, they are not creating the problems in our society. It is our governments that are creating the problems. I believe in self-determination of people. So whether people want to do it on local level, on national level, on an international level, it is up to the people. And uh, I think that 
certain things can do, be done very well on a local level, certain things can be done in a regional levels, certain things on national levels and certain things on EU levels and even international levels. But I think that the key question here is that the people have to decide how they want to um, how they want to construct their societies and their decision-making uh, bodies. Indeed, we don't hope for armed revolutions. I don't think anybody is looking forward to that. I think that the way of creating, if we want to call it a revolution, it is that we have to make people to understand that by participation they can change the system. So that means that we have to be able to mobilize people, we have to go and talk to people on, on grassroots levels, we have to reach out to people, we have to talk to them in a kind of language that they understand not in complicated EU terms, but to take, take issues to people, to ask them questions, to answer them questions, to answer their questions with words that they can understand and show that we are there to, to work for the people and to improve their lives and not that, that they are there to empower us. It should be the other way around.